They'll come down this road. Once in range, we hit them hard. Bring them to a stop. We then neutralize all MaxTac operatives, grab Songbird, run it to an exfil point just across the SoCal border. Our friend here knows the specifics. He'll fill you in. I got one last thing I need to take care of. All right, let's hear what you've cooked up. Mm. Here's a lowdown. Convoy will roll in from the northwest. Likely run right into the booby trap cars will set up. This could decommission a few vehicles, force the rest to switch lanes. We'll cut off any chance of retreat, set off some planted charges, stop them dead in their tracks. Second read pops a behemoth driver, you'll dive in. Your chum read also requested some badass toys. Offensive turrets, mines, smoke grenades, ladder, not an issue. But the mines and turrets. Want to weigh in, sift to the deets, or leave prep to me? It's your call. Deets, my man. Walk me through them. Right on. When fixing to go out, guns blazing, best be on your own terms. Slot the shard. Once a drone's airborne, I'll explain the what's, how's, and why's. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Two items of biz to nail down. One's your strategy. Second, the kit we need to set you up Gear. with. Gear. What's on the tasty menu? Sitch is simple. Reed wants both mines and turrets. Well, I want a divorce without saying goodbye to a single any. Can't have a cake, but only to stare at it till it goes bad. Short notice, folks. Can hook you up with one or the other. Not both. Turrets for firepower, mines for crippling mobility. Your call, boss. Where'd it be good to plant mines? Depends on your chosen tactic. We could leave them some party favors at the Sky Bridges Inns and at the hotel door. Prevent the motherfuckers from taking high ground. Makes the most sense if you'll be firing from there. Then again, if you'd rather go street level, get in close, we can pepper the mines over the road surface. So what do you say? We mine in the road or the way up to the terrace? Plant mines at the stair and hotel entrances. I'll try taking them out from there. Copy that. Wanna talk strategy? What are our options? Got about as many as there are freely tea rooms in Dogtown. So, not a whole lot. Do best to figure out the position you'll be ambushing them from. Then decide if smoke nades favor you there. How would we use them? We set nades off on the road. For a time, the assholes will be aiming and shooting blind. Hopefully, each other. What about reading me? Want to reduce visibility for us? Newsflash. There's no such thing as perfect solutions. Always from trade-off. We can paralyze them, ease your way into their ranks, but they'll cost you the reduced effectiveness of Reed's covering fire. Decision's yours. We doing nades or not? Lose the nades. Gonna be mayhem anyway. Hmm. Limiting variables. Smart. Reduces how many things can go wrong. Against max attack, that could just do the trick. Moving on. Your starting positions for when the shit hits the fan. Care for a gander? Sure. One of my options. Terrace is a solid choice. Supreme visibility and pissing range of the convoy. But there are possibilities aplenty. The stairs, you'll have the ambush laid out in front of you. Means opportunities for laying down strategic fire. Third approach is risky. By the sky bridge, you can close the gap from there in no time. In a nutshell, terrorists are safe secure position. Stairs give you preem visibility. Skybridge lets you get up close and personal real quick.
Right, clear. Good positions all.